all during the month of May, you might have noticed I was rocking some version of a mohawk. My absolute favorite hairstyle, as you can see here. In fact, we called it the month of the mohawk. And if you read our blog on dressing with purpose, you may know that my personal style, I consider it to be classic meets edgy. So especially when I'm wearing anything close to tame, my hair is probably adding the edge. But what you might not know is why this hairstyle means so much to me and when my obsession with it started. Uh, many of you have heard me talk about Dolores. You've seen her in some of my videos. She's my hairstylist of about 16 years now. Every single look you've seen me in, I'm telling you, uh, from actually there's Dolores right there. We spent a lot of time together. She's always <laughs> making me laugh. But seriously, every time you've seen my hair, whether it's been short spikes like on the book cover of Audacious Prayers, long flowy waves, asymmetrical bobs to braids, that has all been her art. But years ago, early in my diverse hair journey, we tried a faux hawk and that changed everything. That day, Dolores, my personal transformation architect, as I call her, twirled me around to that mirror and I saw it. Actually, I saw her, I saw me, the biggest, boldest version of myself staring back at me. I had finally given myself permission to match the music and the experience I was working so hard to create. What I didn't know is that same day when she whirled me around in the mirror and I saw myself, she also saw herself, a stylist who'd been dying to go non-traditional. And now she finally had her person. She had her change junkie who craved something new at every turn. Dream stylist met dream client and the rest is history. Today, my look mohawk often included is a huge part of what I do because it sends a signal to audiences that this is not going to be your grandma's keynote or concert or sermon or book. It also, uh, ironically, you know, you would think that the mohawk would be unapproachable, but I think it's one of the reasons people come up to me. They see me being so darn comfortable with my crazy hair, even in very traditional settings, that they subconsciously, I think they subconsciously, subconsciously assume that if I'm that comfortable with myself, I will be equally comfortable with them. And so they do come up to me and I love that. You know, the Mohawk may not be your thing, but I'm telling you, if there's a vision and a version of yourself that you haven't yet realized, give yourself permission to unleash that. And when you do, you will also be unleashing your greatest level of impact possible. Remember, the world is waiting.